list of the greatest songs of the 60s. Let me start by saying, you see the mountains right over there, Surprise Arizona right here? Majesty, just majesty, love it. List of the greatest songs of the 60s brings to mind, back in the 60s, at the Jewish Community Center in Indianapolis, Indiana, where I grew up. Uh, there was a, a dance every, I don't know, it was Tuesday or Thursday night, one of those nights. Uh, and it was called Teenville, and all the teens would come. Moms and dads would drive you, and you, you'd dance from about 7 to 10 each one of those nights, or maybe 6 to 9, whatever the case was. And there were great bands. There was the early days of bands. I mean, great bands playing in, in venues like that, like Sir Winston and the Commas. They were like Indianapolis's first kind of like psychedelic type of garage band. They were killer. They were magnificent, Sir Winston and the Commons. They're almost who-like in their uh, partic particular way. Then you had great bands, well, one of the greatest frontmen in the history of Indianapolis frontmen is a guy named Jerry Levy. He had a band called the Dawn Five, and he'd be up there singing all kinds of great songs like, I couldn't sleep at all last night just to think about you. Baby, things weren't right, cause I was tossing and turning, turning and tossing, tossing and turning all night. Then, then jumped out of bed, turned off the light, went to the kitchen, got myself a little bite, turned off the light, went on back to bed. I didn't know what was going on in my head. But I tell you this, I tell you this, the band that I really, really, really dug, I dug uh, Jerry Levy as a front man. The band I really, really, really dug was a band out of Shore Ridge High School at that time. It was called The End, the combination Shore Ridge, Broad Ripple, I think some guys from Park, whatever the case may be. That was Dave Crockett and his gang over there, and they used to do all the great songs. I'm talking about, uh, well... You're pushing too hard, you're pushing on me. You're pushing too hard, not what you want me to be. You're pushing too hard about the things I say. You're pushing too hard every night and day. You're pushing too hard, you're pushing too hard on me. Too hard. One of the great songs by a group called the, uh, the, the Seeds, if I'm thinking correctly. I may not be thinking correctly, but I'm not here to think correctly. I'm here to historify you folks and let you know exactly what was happening, especially you youngsters who you don't even have the good of what teen dances were. But re kids don't go to teen dances anymore. They don't do any They're stuck on their games and everything. We had teen dances like Teen Villa was magnificent. Then you would have back in those days black group like the Delvados. That was uh, Marvin Johnson and Lonnie Nafusi was their, was their um, manager. And they would play great songs, you know, like The Temptations. Get ready, cause here I come. I never met a girl who make me feel the way that you do. You all I That's the way the kids would say it. I know every mess and make my dream real. I feel like you do. You outside. Sophie, fire, foe, foam. Look out, baby, here I come. And I'm bringing you a love, it's true. So get ready, get ready. I'm gonna try to make you love me too. So get ready, get ready. Here I come. So you had the Del Vados on over there. It's just magnificent what was going on in that uh, particular era. And I gotta say, when you have songs like that, when you have bands like that, you ain't doing nothing but partying, no problem whatsoever. Teenville is what it was called. You had the Nora Teen Barn in Indianapolis. You had uh, Tiger a go go out there on the southeast side, no problems. What's the Whiteland Barn? Man, you want to talk about a magnificent era, no problems whatsoever. And then when it came to ultimate dancing and you wanted to make a statement as a man, you would do one of the ultimate songs that women could relate to because. You didn't know exactly what the term meant, but at the same time, you had a feeling that you should. And that was, Sock it to me, baby, baby. Sock it to me, baby, baby. You got to sock it to me, baby. Sock it to me, baby. Sock it. Do, 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 do. Honey in the beehive. Honey bunch. Every time I kiss, you hit me like a punch. Give me, give me, give me, give me something sweet. Knock me off my feet. Sock it to me, baby, baby. Sock it to me, baby. And I tell you what, 
the women that indeed did understand, yes, they were teenagers. And the young men who did understand, yes, they were teenagers. They understood the sockage. And in that sockage, indeed, again, society was promulgated. I look off into the mountains, into the beautiful big sky of the Wild West here, and I think to myself, my, what an era. My, what an era. And my, how unfortunate for these youngsters today to not know one daggone thing about it. And they're stuck in their houses with their video games. We went to the alleys and played baseball. We went to the alleys and played football. We went to the alleys. There ain't no alleys no more. You know why? Video games. Now they fight in virtual alleys. We had alleys! Oh, for just a moment there, I thought, let's not forget that you people who've been watching this, especially you youngsters, understand the historical significance and then know that for this last short while, you've been digging the smash. <laughs>